the Brethren of Chaos podcast. Hello and uh, welcome to... What episode is this? What number are we? Uh, 14? 14, I think. Episode 14 yeah. of the Brethren of Chaos podcast. Double digits. It is. And it's the first one without a full-time Charles. Oh, he's gone. He he's gone. York. Living it up in York. So, uh, he's fighting the Russians. I we did. We had, um, we, had, um, we had a spot. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Connor is back. I'm back, yeah. To, uh, returned. Yeah, to help us out. Mm-hmm. It's a very short notice. Yeah, time. yeah. Well, I, I well, I couldn't drive today because my car's got no lights. Yeah, what's happened to your car? How just, where does all your lights just go? It's a can? fault <laughs> on Astra's, apparently. So they both blow fall off. <laughs> they blown, but, have they? Yeah, the, the plugs have blown. Yeah. And then I bought bought new plugs. But um, it's now now I've had to buy new full clusters. I get it, yeah. Because yeah. Um, like the plug's blown and also like the prongs inside of the... So it's been an expensive fix, but hell, we're nightmare. getting there. For a bit of lights, yeah. We are getting there. Um, this week, we're going to set the scene and stay... I, what I really want is some... If you can get some spooky music. <laughs> <laughs> to layer over. To layer over. Yeah, set the tone. As we uh, we talk about some horror. And, uh, and we're going to... We're gonna we're gonna tell some some stories later on, but yeah, ghost stories. Um, we get a little video up of the oh, campfire. Well, well, I know Cal's got some good stories. I've got some ghost story, I, and I have got a, sto- a story, which is a uh, pretty haunting itself, isn't it? Mm. Oh, that one. My, my own that little one. story. Yeah. But um, <laughs> no. The, what what do we think? Do we like horror? I know mm, the I, genre. Yeah, the genre. <laughs> Films. No, oh, I don't know. I like eighties horror, but. Yeah, that's because it's cheesy. Cheesy horror. Mm. I don't like horror films now. Where it's just like they're designed for like fifteen-year-old girls. They're to all jump scares, aren't they? Yeah, jump yeah. scares now. I've seen the new one that they're releasing where it's like um, it's filmed as though it's like a seventies, like teenagers are, have gone to this like this old abandoned house or this old man's house to film like a sex movie, <laughs> and uh, and it, it turns out to be like. Like a horror movie, like a proper 80s slasher. Uh, well, oh, yes. They're then, the good ones, the slashers. Then the slashers, then 80s mm. slashers, like fucking Friday 13th. Yeah. All them ones, they're class. Yeah. But, but they, they, I think they get the pass because it's 80s. Yeah. Like, they can be cheesy. But I still think they'd be good now. If you brought, like, if Jason was bought, brought out now, he'd still be, like, a, a famous. A, yeah. Like, Scream. Yeah. <clears throat> Scream's still popular. Oh, yeah. Scream. Yeah, I like Scream. Mm. Where's Craven? But I've exactly. still not watched that. There's still big Halloween fans as well, like, uh, what's his name? Is that Jason, yeah? No, that's no, Mike Myers. Mike Myers, yeah. yeah. Mike Michael, Myers, Michael yeah. Myers. Oh, I'm not the biggest fan of that, though, to be honest. No, I like that. I think that's probably the last horror film I ever watched, actually. Which like, one? That, the, the, the newest one. one. Yeah, the what was it like? One. It was okay. Was it scary? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> not really. <laughs> <laughs> they know what to expect now. But I don't, I, see, I don't like horror movies. No. Mm. And I do get scared. Like, I watched that Gerald's Game, which is like the Stephen King. Oh, yeah, it's on Netflix. That yeah, that it? fucked me up a bit. <laughs> but, um, I think proper scared me. <laughs> um, I fucked up. I think the thrillers are where it's at. Yeah. Like, I, like Midsummer. Yeah. Hereditary. I, I, them, them type of ones. Yeah, yeah, like a thriller. I was saying like a Connor. thriller, um, like episodes, you know, like the four part episodes of thrillers. Oh, yeah, oh. yeah. Yeah, they're the good yeah, ones. Yeah, blitz them. Something's Blow your, your mind. Mm-hmm. Something's get your adrenaline going. That's what you're looking for, mm, isn't that's it? That's what I like. Horror movies is a bit fucking naff now. Yeah. yeah. Not like, like, remember like Paranormal Activity and Insidious and all that when that was all <laughs> Yeah, massive. I'd watch them ones, like the, the popular ones, but I wouldn't yeah. be sat in bed and think, I'm going to put myself through some intense jump scares <laughs> yeah. when I want to go to Give sleep in two hours. a heart hours. attack. I love yeah. it. Well, wait, I don't think ghosts don't do it for me at all. No? No, I don't. Well, I don't think I believe. I believe if I see them. And when you tell stories of them. <laughs> yeah. But other than that, if I watch a film, ghost, it just does. I just turn off immediately. Really? Ten minutes into a ghost film. Any yeah. paranormal? See, those paranormal activity ones kind of freak me out a little bit. Do they? I feel like the ghosts in that are really powerful, though. They're not like... It's just like it, you catch a glimpse in the window. And it's a stare. It's yeah. like a ghost that drags you down the stairs and stuff, isn't it? But you don't think it's scary if it's somebody? Because it's real. Then you oh, somebody... like a person. I'd be more yeah. scared of a, an actual person. Would you, yeah? In a mask than a ghost. Mm. Definitely. Maybe. But, yeah. But you could probably... Actually, I don't know, because you could, you could retaliate with a person. Yeah. yeah you what? can't really attack a ghost. <laughs> what do you do with a ghost? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what film do you go off? Know, yeah. <laughs> you get someone to bless your house, that's what you do. <laughs> <laughs> what scenario is this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, what about books? 
Anyone? Have you ever read like a horror book? I don't I'm read. Probably, <laughs> <laughs> no. Connor's illiterate. <laughs> I, can, I, can. I can't read. <laughs> no, I've had one book uh, for about two years, and well, I've only read one. Captain Underpants. <laughs> yeah, I love that's one. That's probably the, one of the books I've read all the way through. Captain Underpants. <laughs> yeah, they are good. But it was uh, Into the Wild. It's about a dog, and I've not read it at all. What? I it's only got like, hundred pages, and I've still not still not read no. it. I went through when I was doing my teacher training. I read a lot of children's books like Michael Moore Pergo. Horror ones? Oh, no, no. Oh, no, it's a kids. Yeah, but, Michael Moore Pergo is class. But like, a, have you read any like a Stephen King or something? No, I've I've read all the classic horrors. Yeah, from, I did. I blitzed all the um, you know, like the eighteen hundred ones. Yeah, like Frankenstein. Oh yeah. Doctor Jekyll, Mister Hyde. What were they Dracula. like? Dracula. They're great, them. But you know what the best thing? Oh, like fucking. Are they scary though? Like they're what? not. They're not. But the best thing, what? Like I think people misunderstand about those ones. Like even Dracula, especially like uh, Frankenstein, Doctor Jekyll, and Mister Hyde. Like even Wuthering Heights and all them. Yeah. They're all to do with like the spiral of somebody's mind. Oh, oh yeah, that's how they get you. It's, yeah, it's yeah. not to do with like. It's nothing to do with the monster. Like people, oh, I don't, I don't care about monsters. I don't want to. It's like. Frankenstein's nothing to do with that, really. Yeah. It's all about the mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, because it wouldn't work, would it, with the book? You oh. couldn't be, like, scared. But you couldn't, like, turn the page and go, Ow! Oh, yes! <laughs> See, I don't know. I don't, I don't you know. You can't go, oh, my God! <laughs> Close the book and throw it away. You can't do that with the book. But there you, must with be times... film, you can do it. There must be times, like, I definitely, like, reading books, there's definitely times where you have to put the book down and be like, I've read enough. Yeah. Today. Oh, with a heart, like a... If you're reading at night on your own in the dark... <laughs> Yeah, reading like oh, like you, you probably get there. You and it's, the, all, it's quiet as well, isn't yeah, it? Quiet. You've got pitch black, just a torch on the pages. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it is. I just can't trick my mind. Like te no. teach my mind into reading. <laughs> I just can't do. It. I need more. I need more stimulus. I think the words don't autism. make sense. <laughs> yeah. A bit autistic. I need, like, I need the light. I need the, you need the UV video. rays off the telly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the you need the blue light. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I need that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, that, that like, it probably interests me that I might. Try and get a Stephen King book, and but what's a what's a good it? Steve, so Stephen King is the, the yeah, horror writer, he's, he's isn't he? He's the one, isn't he? And obviously, all his all his books, just a lot of them films. made into films anyway. <laughs> so what are he? he's like carrying Carrie, it, um, it too, it too. <laughs> it too. Um, what else is Stephen um, King? I'm trying to think of the films. Come on, Steve, you not. What's the one where he breaks his leg and he's he's stuck with that woman? That's fantastic. And the woman's like a um, psychopath. She, she keeps him locked in his ro in a room. He's like trying to heal, breaking. He's oh, that's a good one. Fuck, what's that? The Shining. Yeah, that's. Oh, yeah. Oh, seen the Shining. Yeah. I've never seen that film. I watched it. I wasn't that scared by it. No. I think that's more mental as well. Yeah. That's like psychological. I think I think I see more of The Shining in Ready Player One <laughs> <laughs> than I did the actual <laughs> film. <laughs> it's all very like. I think with a horror movie obviously you've got the visual but the sounds massive as well yeah so music is mm -hmm. absolute, yeah yeah like the like when like last week we talked about alien didn't we oh god or the yeah. other week yeah mm -hmm. and the I, rumble of the engines yeah and that. yeah, yeah. What? that's yeah. that's the what atmosphere. gets you yeah so i think that's why i think films you can't books. get it in a book can you unless yeah. you've got an insane imagination <laughs> yeah you're reading tubular bells is playing in your mind yeah. okay? <laughs> Are you playing you know you're oh, doing noises do with that. your voice do you reckon people can do that like where they're reading they have their own little background oh. music on Probably yeah, yeah. I, mean, I feel yeah, like yeah. to a degree I can get I could I could do that. Do you reckon? Yeah, just get some drones going in the back here. Yeah. <laughs> some shredding solos, <laughs> interstellar music on in the background. <laughs> yeah, I just um yeah I want to get a Stephen King book on it. Yeah, I want to see if if it does it. Will it send me to the point where I could have closed the book? Yeah, or will I just mm. see through the because. I, I, I've never, and honestly, I've never read a book like that, so I don't know whether it works. Yeah, like the set I know. And the scene, yeah, and I don't know what it's like. I don't know how he does it, but I think you should read it on your own at night. Yeah, well, obviously not read. Yeah, you can't do it like it's you not can't like read a, with people like, but you, can, <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, you couldn't read it like sat by a pool in in <laughs> Ibiza, could you? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> and Stevie you're reading, <laughs> you're reading the shot. He approached the sleepy hollow. <laughs> <laughs> Free drink for everyone. <laughs> you're, you're scared shitless on the side yeah. of the pool. <laughs> <laughs> Not now. <laughs> He's at the door. Get it down, yeah. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> now I need to get a book to read, which I just can't do it. I need to... What about like, audio books? Can read. Could you listen? I can listen, yeah. I wonder but, what they're like. Like in the car, I don't I listen to music. Audio books are all right. 
Mm-hmm. I like rec- I like LPs and all that at home. I'm gonna go see my dad's. They have the rec- the record players on all the time. Yeah, yeah. Um, but what? There's just like a soundtrack playing. Yeah, yeah. Just got like a record stuff, player yeah. and a massive collection of records. Every time I go, I just put put some like, horror on. music on. Yeah. Yeah. A horror film now. <laughs> That's like it, it's audio books is an interesting one, like you said though, because I've listened to like true crime podcasts and stuff where mm-hmm. it's set as though. It's yeah. like the the creepy music's playing in the background and stuff, and oh, that'd be quite good. It's set like that where it's like there's almost a punchline, like it's like and then it was. Uh. Oh, I get yeah. you. Yeah. I wonder what I wonder what they're like, like an audio book. Yeah. I, I think that's very intriguing. Like I'm like quite intrigued now about horror, <laughs> horror books. I might try an audio book while reading the actual book. <laughs> what, like like someone's reading it to you and you're yeah. following the words, sucking me thumb yeah. <laughs> in bed. <laughs> 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 the quilt over you. Yeah. Oh, fucking hell! I'm doing the on the on sound effects. <laughs> 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 you try to look for the pictures. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> drawing your own pictures. <laughs> Have you ever seen any like really bad horror? Like they're so bad. Because I watched last Halloween. Um, is it the Rocky Rocky Horror Show? Have you ever seen that? Oh. God, it's yeah. absolutely rock, meatloaf comes out of the fridge or something. And you I'm mean like with like... the transvestites? Uh, yeah, yeah. And it's him out of him out of Crystal Maze. We've seen it. The old the old fellow from Crystal Maze, not Richard Richard Iowardi. The bald guy. The bald guy. Yeah, the bald guy. He's in it. I don't. He's think... the butler, Ro- and it is that's, terrible. That's like the Rocky a... Horror. Yeah, it's is a... that the plant? Yeah, yeah. Feed me Seymour. Yeah, I, I, I just zoned out watching it. Like, what the is fuck that? is going on? And the, uh... the fella has sex with the man and the wife. The, the two couple. It's so bad. I don't. It's, I think it's just got like such a weird cult following. It's got, yeah, yeah. It's, it's yeah. a cult classic. It's got yeah. no direction at all. And then they end up being aliens at the end. Yeah, yeah. And they all kill each other. Spoiler. Mm. Sorry, it was about well, sixty years ago. So you <laughs> <seen it> by <laughs> now. Yeah, it's terrible that film. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. It. I've definitely seen some bad ones. Like, mm. definitely. What's, what What's the best ones then? The best one and The Exorcist. Oh, I'd, yeah. I'd, I'd put never that top it. ten. See, I can't. I couldn't bring. I've never brought myself to watch it. Fuck. Would you class a zombie film as a horror film? Probably. I think. I don't, no, I don't know. Maybe. I wouldn't class like Zombieland or No Train to Busan. <laughs> That's you like more. But you like seen the, the Crazies. Yeah, yeah. I love that yeah. one. That's, That's is that Stephen King? The Crazies. Is it? Oh no! I think isn't it um, George A. Romero. He did the original. I don't know. I think so, yeah. Yeah, that's good, the crate, where they, mm. like, turn. Yeah. They turn on each other. From the water. The water's, yeah. just, water's been poisoned by accident. No. Yeah, it's I, a good one, that. I don't know. A good, good horror film. Would be got, like, what about... Know. What makes a good... Um, it's got to be raw. It's got to be... Because they never have good actors in, do The baddie's got to be good. Never the baddie's got to be a good baddie. Like, yeah. a memorable baddie. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. They've all got masks as well. Like, Texas um, Chainsaw Massacre. Like, yeah, just thought to say that one. then. Yeah. yeah. That's the... I'd say that as well. That's the rawest yeah, film. That's, that's grim, I feel that sick one. watching that mm, for yeah. some reason. It's the one where he's, he's loading the... Oh, is that the second one? Where he's loading the body into the... Into the chute. And the two kids drive past. Oh, that's um, Jeepers Creepers. Oh, it is. Yeah, yeah. What a film that is. Yeah. It's Jeepers Creepers. See, they're they're the ones that like they're, they're, that's almost real, isn't it? Yeah, it's because like they got masks. though. I think it's more real when they have got masks. There's no there's no face to them. You yeah, it could be anyone. Yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah. Mm. That's funny. <laughs> it could be anyone. You got Scream, Freddy and Jason. Yeah. Oh, Freddy's got a face. I think it's just fucked up. Yeah, but is he real though? He's like he's a dream. He's, he's a dream, dream, isn't he? Yeah. Nightmare. Uh, Where's Craven? That isn't it? Mm-hmm. Nightmare on Elm Street. Johnny Depp's in that, isn't he? Is he? Yeah. I don't even know that. My mind just like wipes the film after I watched it. Yeah, needs to just digest it slowly, <laughs> and then things come back. Like, Watch it again. Later. Yeah. <laughs> Too scared. <laughs> Traumatic experience. Yeah. <laughs> so you need a good. You need the obviously. You need the a good baddie, the bad guy, yeah. the monster, yeah. the, the killer. They got a good soundtrack. Yeah, and it's got to be raw. Like all these new ones now are just polished. Yeah, you gotta have a, a, like a ditzy blonde as well, and who gets murdered yeah, first. You need that kind. Of... You gotta follow the trope. He doesn't wear a bra. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> falls I'm... over. I'm telling you that this that, that, that new film that's coming out and it's filmed like an 80s it's slasher. Got that. Yeah, it's filmed like an 80s. Like it could be an 80s. Yeah. Film. Have that's, you played the? Um, that's what. That's what you know. Have what, played the game. Want to watch the horror game? Oh, what's it called? Oh, uh, oh, it's got a skull on the front of it, and you make decisions, and they all you can save them while they die. Oh, yeah, I can't remember. What Have you played that one? No, that's a good. That's a hor- That's like a, a, a slasher, isn't it? It that is. One? Yeah, yeah. Really what? good. It's like you, it's like a film, but oh, and you, you make, make the decision. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't remember what that's called. No, I can't. 
who, yeah, that's what you need—a good, like a good cast, a good slasher. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know? And do you know what? For like people, like especially people our age, it's got to be like a group of teenagers, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah, has to be. Yeah, that's that's the class. Have you, seen, mm. you ever seen the burning? It was like 1981. It was like right before Friday 13th. Friday oh. 13th, like clearly copied it. It's the exact same. Like, <laughs> is it? but that's like everything about that is just perfect. It's yeah. got like the teenagers, the spring break, spring break, yeah, on the lake. Oh yeah, he kills somebody. My dad's lake but he comes back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it needs to be like like that. It doesn't. It doesn't hit the same if it's like like a family. Yeah, mm. although that's pretty. Like, I think I had defenseless defenseless children. That's yeah. Good. What, there's a, a horror one I watched not too long ago and it was uh, they went up to like a cabin mm. and um, it was this family wanted to they was all living in there and they all just died someone came in and started killing everyone <laughs> in the house. I can't remember it's, but they all made like tripwires and everything I can't remember what it's called but it was quite good to be honest was it a recent one? it's a recent pretty one. recent yeah, yeah someone, I'm, not, I'm not clued up on me any recent films no, pretty, that's not pretty recent that's about five years old Five, that's a good one. I don't know. That's well recent to me. Yeah. I'm, I, when I think about films, I'm only thinking films from the 70s or 80s. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> yeah. 90s at a push. That's I dis- it. I disregard black and white. The films. setting as well, <laughs> isn't it? Bad for me. Yeah, it's got to have a good setting. It's got to be, I think, like that spring break or something like yeah. that. Mm, cabins. Going away somewhere. Yeah. Somewhere where it can, when it's dark, it's dark. Yeah. There's no parents. Yeah, no parents. No one to save you. <laughs> no parents. The law doesn't like yeah. you. And there's always <laughs> that one person who they ring, who they're going, there's a, there's a murderer here, there's a murderer, yeah. murderer. And he doesn't believe them. <laughs> <laughs> and then he comes back at the end of the film and saves the day. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, there's yeah. a policeman. Yeah, there's another a prank call, <laughs> <laughs> You gotta stop doing this. I'm gonna tell your mother. Have you ever seen uh, My Bloody Valentine, the original? No. That's See, that, fantastic. You could be, that's, you could be making similar. up any film here. Yeah. You could be saying, like, <laughs> you're going to have to write us a you list. Must not, you must have heard that one. No. Oh, yeah. You're going to have to write us a list of these yeah. films. Oh, that's that's like that where the um, the police don't believe it at first. Yeah. And then oh. they turn up and, like, oh, it's like shit storms. Don't, don't you wish we had, like, because obviously you can stream all these movies illegally, but imagine if, like, a, a good, like, you know, like a classic American Just like, video everything. store. Mm. Like, like a like blockbuster. blockbuster yeah yeah that's we, always used to bump into chris on that we, friday oh, night we, did you yeah <laughs> <laughs> the one in st ellen's <laughs> spend friday searching for films yeah that's that that's like we had a chinese guy from us. Our, he was our blockbuster was he yeah. chinese guy in the pub <laughs> with all the fake all the fake dvds in a little in a little uh match attacks kind of thing <laughs> book, book, little flip book. would you put like orders in with him yeah, yeah, and it was like, yeah. oh, get, get me hot fuzz next time. <laughs> yeah, Did yeah. you get a drink while he was there? <laughs> nah, <laughs> that's came, drinking with you. Came in for the money, him. And then the fake clothes guy had come in as well. <laughs> oh, <after> what? <laughs> oh, these... What, in the pub? Eh? Yeah, yeah. So, like, you go out and, like, <laughs> this a Chinese guy comes in Chinese with a load of loads DVDs. It's like meat cells. What, a load everything? of Chinese people? No, oh, not a load of Chinese, but a load of, a load of illegal, illegal uh, so, contraband pop, yeah, sellers. Yeah. Fuck, yeah. where's this pub? I want to go to this pub. Oh, it's closed now. The, the, owner, the, the owner ran off to, like, Tormelinos or something. Yeah. The, what? <laughs> he, just, he just borrowed so much money from the bank and then did, didn't pay it back and ran off to, like, Tormelinos or... Sounds like a modern day, or something. Modern day H.H. Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something's going on there. Yeah. Yeah. Have we had... There was one in the in the Deans in, in Prescott. A guy used to come and try and sell DVDs. Yeah. 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 That was, like... Oh, I suppose yeah. that's not even that long ago when mm-hmm. I was in there. Like that's as as going in on my own, like not with yeah. Just, when you could drink, yeah, yeah, as just on your own, trying push. to get DVDs, push, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> waiting for this DVD. Man. Yeah, wait, wait. Bar. <laughs> Have you got my bloody Valentine? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think what do you know what else? Also, when we're talking about horror movies, that I always think like, what films would be better if they were a bit more like. Gritty, bit more gritty, bit darker. Like I always think, why didn't they do that with Jurassic World when they were redoing Jurassic Park? Oh yeah, yeah. Like that, especially that second one. Make it R-rated. Oh, it could have been horrible. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like make it really scary. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why they know it. Just getting up close and personal with the teeth going in yeah. the bodies and all well, that. Well, that the first Jurassic Park with the T-Rex bit. Yeah. That's horrific, isn't it? Yeah. You watched mm. that as a kid. Oh, in the, the, in the, the raptor scene as well in the kitchen. Yeah, that as well. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I'll put the <laughs> willies up me there. I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about <laughs> that scene. Actually, it's horrible. See, that, I, like you could, but that you could take that to the next level. Still, yeah. there's still room to take that. So, so what they should? I was thinking. Do that, it in the others? Have you seen the second Jurassic World? 
where they've got like other well, they're doing the auction and it breaks out. Yeah. And Wait, the, which ones? The, which ones are we on about? They've here? brought the them, new ones. The new ones. Oh, yeah. I haven't little, seen that. The second one. Jurassic World. Oh no, I haven't seen any. So of them. it's yeah. at an auction and they've taken it and they're trying to sell it off and it breaks out. Like it's like what? The, it's some the dinosaurs. End, Endoraptor or something. It's yeah, called. they've created some like mad yeah. one again. Oh, I remember one. like some. They yeah, had the yeah. Indominus Rex in the first one. Yeah. And yeah. then they have the Endoraptor in this one. It's spawn. And um, it breaks out, and it stays in the house. And this house is on like this big, res- like a big, massive, like acres of land, and, yeah. like, woods and forest. And I think if, if it's in there, that makes the film so much better. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's like a group of teenagers having spring break. <laughs> <laughs> just combine two films into one, <laughs> two stories. Yeah, I just think if that that could have been so good. Do you know, like imagine Jurassic Park that was like Alien. Mm. Yeah, really dark. Yeah. Because it's like, I think with the Jurassic Parks, it's all too much, like, thrashing. Yeah, like, it's for kids, though, as well. and loud. And yeah, I'm sure it's like... Yeah, it's families, 30, isn't it? 13, isn't it? Sometimes yeah. It's for kids, though. Like, I know. Well, yeah, you could, you could incorporate a horror into that, like the grumble. That yeah, the t- could, like, the, Whatever yeah, it is that the T-Rex does. Dark, the sound you could do. Yeah. Wow. The atmosphere. Like on the, uh, on the kitchen one, on the first one, where he's... Is, is it where he puts his... Uh, the little raptor puts his finger down the metal thing, and it goes... <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's such a good scene. The more I think about so that, many good mm. scenes. And that third, yeah, especially like when they're in that room and it's like they've got all the paintings on the wall, and then one of the paintings is, like, yeah, is a raptor, yeah. Yeah. a real one. It moves yeah. its face, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Or when they're in that lab, and it's like, oh, oh, I'm fanboying over Jurassic Park. Here we go. <laughs> and then they look through the the uh, one of the like big test tubes, mm. and on the other side the raptor, and he smashes yeah. through. Yeah, so good. That's Spielberg, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It was ahead yeah. of his time. That was Spielberg. Yeah. So good. That was at like the beginning of good CGI, wasn't it, really? <laughs> and then it was the 2000s. They were doing new things, weren't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, they were They were do, doing... They, they still used models, didn't they? Did they? Yeah, I think they did. I think they used some models in it, yeah. didn't they? And then, uh, both. and then some, like, really good CGI. But they set it up well. Like, that T-Rex was CGI, but they did it so that it was dark and rainy. Yeah, yeah. So they could cover it up. And that whole scene's perfect. What a film. What what a scene. What a film. Yeah. You know, I was just thinking then, you mentioned about CGI. I think that, what makes the 80s ones so good as well, is there's no C. It's just like... Mm. Yeah. You can. It's just makeup, isn't it? Yeah. Like, the blood's just squirting everywhere, yeah. and it's like, you can see it on them and everything. It's like that blood that you used to buy when you was a kid at Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> It'd stain you. Yeah. <laughs> Red thick blood. Yeah. <laughs> what what other what other films do you think? Horror films. What would what could benefit from being what could you turn into like a proper horror? Mm. Um I think I think High School Musical. <laughs> yeah, right slasher. Yeah. A slasher. Right slasher school, school musical. Oh, have you ever seen Final Exam? No. That's another oh, that's, good, this is another that's a good eighties one. one uh-huh. Where it's like in the school and they've yeah. got like um Oh schools what? Well it's like a university and like most of the it's like right at the end and most people have left yeah. there's a few people staying back for this last exam so mm-hmm. there's hardly anybody in the campus and there's a murderer going around oh wow that's great yeah, that one they're the ones yeah these are all these 80s films get on these I yeah yeah i can't think of anything yeah i can't i, I can just think of all the classics mm. they yeah, don't, don't need changing yeah you're stuck <laughs> in the 80s they should i don't know they not made like a, a proper school shooter film yet do you reckon it, touches, <laughs> do you reckon it hits the nerve a I little think, bit yeah. it's a bit below the knuckle Columbine. Kind of bit, yeah Bit on sense fucking yeah. school shooter one. Make it just <laughs> like proper action. Ban it. Just ban Dwayne, it for America. Dwayne the Rock Johnson turns up shooting. <laughs> yeah. it, well, I mean, Mark down Wahlberg's in. Ladder rolls down a helicopter. <laughs> well, fucking machine what's guns. that? Uh, we need to talk about Kevin. Have you seen that? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's that's, actually yeah. That's, he had that's a great a, film. Yeah. Huh? He had a bow and arrow yeah, training. Yeah. Ooh, his dad bought him it because because it, it's the only thing that made him happy or something. <laughs> oh, would you have smacked that kid though? With a baby. Oh my he was just God. shit himself on purpose in front of, like, staring at his mum, just shit in his <laughs> yeah. pants. Or I threw him out the fucking window. Oh. It was well, fucked up, that kid, like. I wouldn't, just in case social services. Yeah. Mm, just to clarify. That mm-hmm. is a good film. Really Joke! Good film. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, what's that, that's psychological, though, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Well, that's, like, one of those films which is back and forth, isn't it? Yeah. It's focusing on the, on, the mo- on the mother a lot. He's born evil, him, though. Yeah. Oh. I think with school shooter films, like, what's... I think... Like, a, what's... Uh, what is the average runtime of a of a school shoot? <laughs> like, Forty minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Forty minute film. A real time film. Oh yeah, they don't. Well, there's not many like like where, what films there where the kids are getting killed graphically. There's obviously oh, in the house of Jack Bill. No, I've been telling you to watch that. Camp. Yeah, you have. I don't think I've watched that. That's yet. really graphic. Yeah, kids. That's scenes, a, is that Matt Dillon? 
Yeah, I don't know how the fuck he pulled that off. Yeah. Lars von Trier, when he did it, he released it. He got banned from like the um, what was it the Sundance Festival yeah. for being a neo Nazi. <laughs> 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 but Steve oh, rolled God. his eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then he released this film the day his ban was lifted. Oh, that's like a hell. fuck you. Yeah. But it oh, it's, it's so rid- like it's yep. clearly it's like people have got like like Tarantino and stuff like that. Mm. This is another level. Yeah, like right. Tarantino was fucking. Like eat baby steps compared to Lars yeah. and Trier in this. Even even the trailer's ridiculous. I've definitely seen the trailer. What's it called? The house, the house that Jack built. He's basically just like a serial killer. It just follows him over a twelve year span of trying to build his house, but he can't because he ends up killing people. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there's that. That's got some. Um, just too busy. Graphic. Too chul- busy with the children people. deaths in it. Yeah. Oh, fucking hell. That's on it. I don't, yeah. I suppose it, it is touchy, isn't it? You know, we did mm. shooting kids in the school. I don't think. I don't, yeah, I don't. I don't know how well that would uh... wouldn't go down well at the Baftas or something, would it? No, I don't forget translate. No. <laughs> <laughs> but if you just ban it, they banned the Warriors, didn't they? Remember Did the they? Warriors? They banned that for a while. Yeah, Warriors. Can was it the Warriors? You it? They, bar- they banned. Um... Oh, was it? No, was it? The oh, the UK banned the Warriors. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, they... the Americans banned uh, Life of Brian. Life of Brian. What? Yeah. yeah, yeah. What for? For taking the piss, piss out of Jesus and oh, stuff. God and that, don't they? Fuck it, hell. <laughs> They're fucking soft, them, aren't they? Yeah. Right. Speaking of the UK versus America. Yeah. Oh, um, nice transition. UK ghost stories. You don't hear much of them, do you? Not really. No, no, you hear no. the pub, pub. You know, like yeah, the, the old pub chat and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Is that Scouse fella on telly? Was it Richard Acora? Something like that. Is it David Acora? Who? <laughs> <laughs> on the uh, ghost. Oh, I know what you mean. Is he dead? <laughs> I think he's, he's, a, I don't he's know. a ghost. <laughs> he's a ghost. <laughs> I'm seeing a sign. Well, What's that? <laughs> What's this going down here? Speak to me if you can hear me. <laughs> <laughs> that's all. That's all it is, though, isn't it? It's yeah. like they go to one stars or they go to castles and that. And yeah. Like, so I've got a couple of like um, the forbidding ruins of Whitby Abbey. What? So these are like um, old house. Yeah old house God. Um they're famous f- um for their blood curdling connections but did you know that the abbey harbors a dark secret long before the time of bram stoker's dracula a young nun constance de beverly broke her sacred vows when she fell in love with a gallant knight called Ma- marmion Mar- this is a true story yeah yeah and she's called she's called what she's she called sounds Const- made up. constance de beverly God. Constance de Beverly. Well, they're, de Beverly. All, they're all everything came from like the Romans, didn't they? Yeah, There's a yeah. bit of transition. Of Constance French. de Beverly and a, a a knight. Yeah, and she fell in love with a knight oh, called Marmion. Perfect horror, isn't it? It's set up for the perfect horror story. So or, the, or a love story. <laughs> <laughs> when the other nuns um, found out her secret, her punishment was to be bricked up alive in the walls of this building. Ooh. Ooh. And today, so you can go to Whitby Abbey. And today, it's said that her ghost can be seen at the site cowering and begging to be released <gasps> and legend also says that a phantom choir can be heard on the 6th of january every year at dawn what that's and people have like witnessed that yeah yeah so why i think don't... this is one for the pod on the road as well oh my god why don't they just knock the wall down and see if there's a body in it i don't know oh, well, is it a tourist thing though did, uh, this is what i mean i think i, I was i was googling uk ghost stories uk what have you got mm. and there's like some stupid ones and stuff but it's all like or like this. Yeah, yeah, like old old t- time. Tales and tales. stuff. Tales. Yeah. Folklore. Whereas when we get to the American ones, it's a bit more like... Well, I went on Reddit for the American ones. <laughs> oh, that's the perfect yeah, they'll go, place. They'll go crazy and the roof came off. Yeah. So where was that? Whitby Abbey? Whitby, yeah. yeah. I don't know Whitby, Whitby before. Yeah. I don't know where about Whitby is, is it? It's got a beach, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's on the, the coast. Mm. Mm. So a trip to Whitby Abbey? Might Definitely. Be a trip to Whitby Abbey, go and knock on the wall. So w- when do you have to go, though? The 6th of January? Um, yes, yeah, sixth of January every year at dawn. You, at dawn. you can Ooh. hear the Phantom Choir. I, that I think that tripped me up. If I, if I heard like if stuff, heard it. if it was at dawn on my own and heard stuff like that, Ridic- like devil screaming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'd be shitted up from that. Yeah, yeah. I think if you actually saw some, like, do you know when people go on those ghost hunts that like you were talking before? Mm. Like, if you actually saw something, experienced it yourself, you can't. You couldn't imagine ever. Like, like I was speaking to you before about like. I've been speak to speak hall, mm. you know, in in speak in speak speak, um, and I, I you can do a tour of speak hall, and I've walked around and like going in all like it's like an old Tudor house, and everything's very like cramped and confined, and you're going in the in these bedrooms, and the bedrooms are kept exactly the same as the oh, where yeah. however many years ago, and yeah. I felt really uncomfortable there. Yeah, 
like really like unders- you can feel something like being in a bedroom like when I was like especially if you walk into a room on your own mm. and you're stood in this bedroom it's it's not does it go cold yeah it's not nice at it's all not just a yeah. bit drafty and I had to I had to fucking I had to get out the me, window but- open <laughs> yeah. close the window <laughs> I don't know whether I ever felt any chills or anything but it just felt you just this feeling you know uneasiness yeah I know some I'm not gonna name the name the name but somebody used to go to this house. N- n- or never liked going up the stairs and you know, like would always stay downstairs yeah it was like family member's house mm. and like she said oh, it was always uncomfortable going upstairs and stuff and years later she found out that somebody died in that house upstairs oh, oh my god it's like for years she felt like she could feel something i never knew yeah what are they called are they pre- what are presences are they they're called like as if there's a word for a, a like a ghost isn't it like a poltergeist like a spirit spirit like, yeah. oh i can't remember what it's called um, I've a, got another a ghoul. <laughs> a ghoul. <laughs> uh, another uh, castle of the UK is a uh, Berry Pomeroy, um, and it, it says it's got the lot when it comes to cold spots, feeling of fear, pressure on the on pressure on the temples, strange noises and lights, and the usual spectral black hound. What? Put it on a poster. <laughs> We've got it all. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it, so you see a black hound? Yeah, yeah. Ooh. And apparently, real dogs hate being walked near that castle. <gasps> Well, that's something, isn't it? Dogs say, they say dogs can yeah. sense stuff. The and horses as well. The horses don't like going through graveyards, apparently. Yeah. yeah. Mm. There's many, many stories of cameras ceasing to work and film coming out fuzzy when they're, when they're in there and stuff like that. I, I feel uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, more sinister is the ghost of a woman named Matilda, known as the White Lady, who was said to be it's said to have been imprisoned by her sister, and starved to death in the room at the base of St. Margaret's Tower. So that's on the same site. Oh, is that on this? Oh, right, yeah. So this is like the white lady, they call And people, there's like, so there's people have seen her. Well, I'm, I'd imagine so, yeah. yeah. See, this is what I mean. There's like... There's got to be something. If people, if like people, like I don't believe in ghosts, but if people are seeing stuff, yeah, yeah. Like seeing I'm the frozen. same thing. I feel like I've been stuck to the chair. I always feel a bit uneasy going to like, like ruins of castles and that. Yeah. I can't. Oh, like, do you? I love castles. Well, I'm going running around. Like, what, running around? Yeah, I pretend, I pretend like I'm a You're soldier. You're reading it. Yeah, pretend like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> pretend I'm re- I've got jobs to do. <laughs> no, it's just like, like, I don't mind. Clearing the shit. <laughs> yeah. Like, obviously the castles are unbelievable and stuff. Yeah. And like, but like, if, like when I was saying about in Speak Hall and you get yeah, you go to yeah. a cold corner mm. of the castle and you're on your own and stuff, it, it's all quiet. It gets a bit much, doesn't it? Oh, this is all different to me. No, are you like you all. I'm completely that? different though. But my head's in the cloud, so yeah. <laughs> stuff. Like, if I go to a castle or an old house, I'm like, like putting myself in the position. Yeah, like, you want to feel it. No, I don't want to feel it. I'm putting position of the people who live there. Oh, there you go. What what are the jobs today? <laughs> Gotta go and feed the horses, the hay. Oh. <laughs> Bloody hard life I've got here what in 1763. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm more with Callie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah. feel any anything. So I think we need to go to these places. I think I'm definitely yeah. Let's get that list. I'll go yeah. yeah. Let's see if I can be turned. Yeah, see if you can be cuz I mean like the the, like, the lads on have a way podcast they do it don't they? Yeah. The haunted house things. I can never ever stay in a haunted house. C- oh no. Regardless. Could you not? Of, regardless of how much I say I don't believe in anything. Yeah. There's no chance I'm staying in Oh, I'd stay over, but I really, I, yeah, I'd, I'd use the blankets and everything. Their own blankets, they're like two hundred years old. <laughs> Fuck that, <laughs> covered in like, dust. Really, take me in here, like no, you, you've got no issues in doing that at no, all. No, not at all. I can stay. You, you've got issues, haven't you? I don't know. You could do that. Um, I feel like I could get distracted. I think, like what what kind of saying, like if the, if the TV's on. And it's like bullseye. <laughs> and there's like five yeah. episodes in a row. Yeah. I think I could be all right. But if I'm just sat on my own. What was bullseye on? In the on TV. Through the house? Or oh, in your own house? Well, oh, in, just in the haunted house. In the haunted house. <laughs> Watching yeah. bullseye. bullseye. <laughs> well, that, oh, that was just an example. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I feel like I could get distracted maybe. Yeah. Oh, I'd, something kept you Yeah, but I felt like if I, if I dwelled on it on if my you, own. If, you, if, we were sat, if we were doing this podcast in one. And I'm telling yeah. ghost stories. And we're talking about scary movies and slashes and stuff. And oh, it's no, getting, I, it's I, getting dark. It's windy. I don't think it'll get to me. I think I'm, I'm having too much of a good time. You'd, you'd be all right. Yeah. I, I'd have to tap out me, so you wouldn't. Have, anymore. have you seen that um, that fella on the streamer? And he he plays uh, horror games in the woods. No, he likes Slenderman games. Does he? He plays them. Um, he goes out in the woods and gets like a generator. 
in the middle of nowhere and plays slasher games. What the pitch fuck? black. It's yeah, horrible. Yeah, but if there's nothing real, then what's the danger? If it's not real, isn't it? It's your mind plays tricks on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all your mind. Yeah. Are you not thinking of like a chainsaw bursting through this door now? <laughs> 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 not me dad coming in with a chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> right we're on to the ghost stories okay so we've had the Ooh. fucking shitty little uk like, so the uk ones are all just like castles tales. yeah it's all like oh did you feel that kind yeah of there is a bad one but the family and they made a film on it actually it just come to me head then and they put all the cameras around Do you remember that it was in the 70s or something the girl the, like the daughter was saying they found loads of she could see spirits you know, i not heard about that uh-huh. i don't think anyone lives in the house anymore what hmm Cause and they brought people in. This, like, this was like I'm sure it was like the 70s or 80s, like a reenactment of that. Do you mean the Amity- Amityville? Yeah, yeah. Is Amityville that, horror. Is no, that, yeah. that in England, no. No, that's you. That's, that's American. American. Right, oh, yeah. that was an English one. Oh right. Yeah. And they have like the first time like cameras have been invented and they set them up and everything. Yeah, yeah. And they have like a little um, like a dial that oh, goes I mean, back yeah. and forth. A gator. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense apparently. <laughs> Fucking hell. Right. What's it called that one. This uh, this is the first story Go that I've got for you. It's called uh, Little Hands, and it's by a Reddit user, uh, patented Spacehook. Spacehook? Yeah. I've never lived in a haunted house, but my mother has, uh, has uh, my mother did as a teen. Other houses on her street had strange things going on too. A few homes away from her family. Uh, one night the daughter went to bed with a bad headache, and the next day she was dead. She passed away from an aneurysm. After her funeral, the family went away to get their minds off the tragedy. And the father asked my uncle, my mother's brother, to check on her pets. My mum and dad, who were dating at the time, went with him. My mother had heard there was a grand piano and she wanted to play it. My dad was studying to be a veterinarian. I don't understand. What does that I don't understand what that's got to do with the story. <laughs> My dad was bald. <laughs> <laughs> After entering the house, my uncle and father headed to the basement to see, to see to the animals, and my mother went to the piano on the ground floor. She was playing it when she felt something brush her ankles. She thought a cat must have left the basement and walked past her. She kept playing, and then she felt it again. She looked under the piano and saw nothing. When she started again, she felt hands clasp her legs tightly. She dashed to the basement door and called my uncle and father and waited for them. Back outside, my uncle could tell my mum was rattled and he asked what was wrong. She told him what had happened and he turned white. He told her that the daughter who had died used to play that game with her father. When he was on the piano, she'd crawl underneath, grab his ankles and push his feet down on the pedals. Yeah. What do we think? And this is off Reddit. That's off Reddit, yeah. That's so the first if one. If that happened to me, yeah, I'd be 100% shit up. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. A full experience. Yeah, mm. that's a proper experience. Yeah. Feeling something. To feel it, yeah. It's a different to... And especially something like niche like that. Mm. It's yeah. not just like you just feel something. It's yeah. like the game that you played, wasn't it? Yeah, you didn't feel it. Blow, yeah. blow, carefully blow on the back of your neck. Yeah. <laughs> it makes it worse <laughs> yeah. that she found out that it's been... That was running the family as a family game. Yeah. yeah. And she didn't know. Horrible. Well, that would yeah, that would send me a bit scatty there. I feel a bit cold already. Mm, yeah, yeah, it's making me a bit like, like nervous in my own skin kind of thing. See that, but this is they're the kind of things you get from the Americans, aren't you? Our American brothers. Well, they go at it, don't they? Them. They only love it. They, mm. they, 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 yeah, they always give a good story. I'll give them that. Yeah. yeah. Um, this next one is called the Eerie Attic, okay? And this guy says before he says, "Why do ghost stories always start with I don't believe in ghosts?" But... <laughs> 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 he said this is an Australian one so he's, a few years ago he's moved into a, a one bedroom apartment in Melbourne Australia Okay, um, it was the first time living on his own and the apartment block had been built up in the 1930s he'd been there a few months and when he came home from work one day he went into the bathroom and saw something strange a wooden board which had covered a hole in the ceiling that led to a small attic space lay fractured in two pieces on the ground I examined the pieces the board was an inch thick, and it would have taken Bruce Lee to break it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that a sledgehammer or Bruce Lee or anything? Why has he picked Bruce Lee as the hardest thing to <laughs> knock down a wall? 
That's, that is so random. <laughs> he thought the landlord had sent someone uh, to work on the attic, and he was frozen stiff with fear. But I've got like a, I've got an attic hatch in my in my room. Hmm. I don't know why. In your room? In yeah. your room? Yeah, yeah. It's like right above my bed. Wait, <gasps> and how? So you like say so you get scared yeah. of all this stuff. That's why. <laughs> you've got an attic. Well, that's that's the, like prime conditions for never sleeping. Probably, it, it probably explains my... Uh, <laughs> is my, it ever opened? No, I don't think so. Uh, you don't think I've so? I've never even pulled my head in it, to be honest. You don't know what's up there? No, it's like where we had the extension built. Obviously, it extended my and my sister's bedrooms yeah, yeah, yeah. and they needed like access into the that space above the extension, so it's in my room. Oh, God. But I mean, if I came into my room and that was... Yeah. Mm, swinging. On the floor, I'd be like, right. I'm not sleeping. So, uh, get straight over there. So, he's seen that and he's thought someone's up there for sure. Yeah, he's emailed pictures to the landlord asking if anyone had been up there. And uh, the, the reply from the landlord was, please call me as soon as you're able to. Oh. I called and she explained that her last two tenants had said the same thing happened. <laughs> she pro- promised to replace the board and she did. So what we think? Do you know what that, that bit reminds me of? Like, do you know when people have people living in living in the yeah? Attics? So so he's just he's Squatters. just he's called her for a, a a problem, and she's gone. Oh, the bloody tenants are at it again. Yeah. Is she just is she thinking there's a ghost up there, or is she just thinking of lost fucked again? <laughs> she, I don't know what she's thinking, but if it's happened to the the previous two um, tenants who've lived there, so what happened? It fell off. It's or, it's, sm- it's smashed in half. Yeah, Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee. Oh, Bruce Lee couldn't yeah. bro- break he could yeah Bruce um, Lee what a weird reference to choose <laughs> <laughs> so she's replaced the board world's strongest man Eddie Hearn couldn't break that one <laughs> 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 I just bolted over wouldn't you yeah yeah I think yeah yeah if it's happening a few times you could you could test it though this maybe one. yeah maybe you'd fucking maybe you reinforce it yeah I'll just plaster over it yeah wait well you you'd go in well That's... maybe not you Cal but no. yeah would I f- you someone go... like Connor would yeah would go, go in and torch, yeah, go and have a little crowbar or something <laughs> <laughs> a weapon of choice <laughs> uh, a month later oh it's still the same story this is the same story what? so a month later he wakes up one night around four a.m. His body was covered in goosebumps. It felt like someone had, someone had been rubbing his or her hands all over him. Basically. Everything was silent, but then I heard a dragging sound come from above my bed. Mm-hmm. It was as if someone was pulling a sack of potatoes. I froze, convinced someone was up there. It was Bruce Lee. <laughs> <laughs> a sack of potatoes only Bruce Lee could pull. <laughs> <laughs> there is no way an animal could make that sound after five minutes he worked up the courage to turn on the light armed himself with a cricket bat very Australian of him <laughs> and walked to the bathroom that's when I saw that the new board covering the hole was broken in two. Oh, again he felt sick the dragging sound had stopped but I heard something else whispering the sound was clear and coming from the attic it sounded like children's voices, and I could hear one sentence repeated over and over. It's your turn. It's your turn. Get in the attic. He switched on every light in the apartment to make things feel normal. It was 5am and dark outside. I watched TV to try and unwind. Bullseye what? was on at the time. <laughs> <laughs> Bullseye and then enter the dragon. <laughs> Then a fuse blew, and his pet budgie Dexter, whom he kept in the kitchen. (laughs) (laughs) His pet budgie Dexter. (laughs) Sound from the attic. Then I think my pet budgie Dexter could make. My pet budgie Dexter, who <laughs> whom he kept in the kitchen. <laughs> oh my face! <laughs> <laughs> this gets better. This one. <laughs> <laughs> he usually never made a sound at night, but he started squawking like he was being strangled. <laughs> never heard him make those sorts of noises. He was screaming. 
I grabbed my car keys, ran out, sat in my car. It left the budgie. And waited Fucking until hour, the sun came up. Did he left his budgie? Oh, fuck <laughs> me. <laughs> it's not finished yet, boys. Oh my god, yeah. When he saw people walking their dogs, it comforted them enough to go back in. At two in the morning? So this is this is like 5am, isn't it? Yeah. So 5am. He, 5 he been... sat it out in the car, is it? Yeah, for a couple of hours. Yeah. Oh, it was the other one two in the morning? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, he figured um, he might have forgotten to close. Uh, the, oh, the front door was open, but he'd figured he'd, he'd forgotten to close it when he ran out. He went into the kitchen to check on Dexter, but he wasn't in his cage. Oh, fucking hell. So someone let him out? He felt sick again. All my windows were closed, so I looked everywhere inside. When I walked to the bathroom, I heard splashing. <sighs> Dexter was half drowned in the toilet. <laughs> I took him out, washed him, half drowned. And dried him. <laughs> half drowned. Just from the neck up. From the <laughs> half drowned. <laughs> but they haven't, his head's not under. Yeah. It's just his bottom half. <laughs> just, just bobbing up and down in the toilet. <laughs> he was so confused. At 8 a.m., I called the landlord and I gave her a watered down version of the night. Oh, wow. You heard the whispering too, she said. Oh, what a terrible response! Like <laughs> awful responsibility from the landlord. I think the, I think the landlord's responsible. She for should all have this. told him that on the tour of the house before he went there, tour of the apartment thing. Uh, I, I stayed in that apartment for another eighteen months. Oh, would you fuck? I heard the whispering on a few occasions, and twice the board covering the hole in the ceiling moved. Although I live elsewhere now, the landlord recently called. She said that the, her new tenants had begged to speak to me about some of the stuff that had been going on there. Forget it. Come it's and get your budgie back. Now. <laughs> Come and pick up your budgie. Dex is still in, <laughs> in the toilet. <laughs> so that was a bit... That could have been a film. That was a bit spooky, that, wasn't it? it That's was spooky, but the, the, there was de- holes in it. <laughs> There's definitely situations in that that'll freak you out, yeah. 100%. The loft is definitely one, but... Are you, what, so Lofts are fucking spooky anyway, aren't they, I think? I love a loft. Do you? Mm. Wait, why? I just like how eerie it is. I think I'm. I don't know why. You know what's. You know what's great is in the Goonies when they go in the loft. Yeah. Oh yeah. How good's that scene? I want a loft like just full of clutter like that. Looking at the map. Yeah. yeah. Just found a treasure map or something. Oh, that's good. We've got like a full wall of me dad, me granddad. I don't know who, where where we've got them from, but there's a full wall of like encyclopedias and all that. Mm. What? Can you walk in it? In the loft, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put the floorboards down straight away in the loft so you can walk around. Yeah. Wait, what was that story about the snake in, in the loft? Oh yeah, yeah. We uh, I think you didn't you say it on one of the episodes. Possibly. You had a snake in the loft. We had a snake. Um, so what? <laughs> Dexter. I don't know where I don't know where the snake came from. I can't remember <laughs> exactly where it was. <laughs> He's still bobbing around. <laughs> <laughs> but didn't, uh, didn't, wasn't somebody you were minding it for somebody? My cousin was gonna uh, have it, so my dad kept hold of it and he said we're not having it down here. So he put it in the loft. He used to go up and down in the loft every mm. now and then. Um, but he put it in there, and then he put, like, a, a couple of books on top. And then one day he goes up, and the books had moved, mm. and the, the snake had got out. And the loft door was in, too. And we never found it. <laughs> yeah. but how, you never found the snake. <laughs> never found the snake. <laughs> That's like, uh, what, who could have moved the, bo- the books? A, like, a, a snake can't just, like, move them books from the outside, no, can't no. it? Entity. And there's not, snakes don't, like, butt through, do they? Mm. But it was gone, yeah, so it escaped mm. into our loft. Can it not, like, whip it with its tail? Possibly, Can but how smart it? are they? Yeah. Yeah. Not that like, smart, like are docile, they? aren't they? Mm, I, yeah, I don't feel like they're... It was like a king snake or something, I think that's what it's called. King. Mm. Sure, they were like... It's like a proper snake, not like a little corn snake or yeah. a milk snake or anything. So, a, a potentially, a ghost could have moved those monks? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, it could have been half like drowned. A, could have been Voldemort. Could have been Voldemort putting a Horcrux in that snake. <laughs> but you, you like were asleep underneath it as well, looking up at the the hatch with the. Oh shit! Oh, was this before your I extension? I think it was before the extension. <laughs> You're in the so old clear. All right, yeah. One of the but, uh, lad I used to work with, he had a snake in his someone in someone's snake in his kitchen when he, went he? To, when he was going to work. Yeah, in the morning. So he just found it. Just found it in his sink. Whoa, oh, that's bizarre. That. Yeah. What hit big fat one here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. There must be loads of snakes in, in like, the what? Do you reckon? They, oh, they, have gra- they have grass snakes, don't you? In, yeah. Uh, yeah, they have, like, okay. but, uh, and adders and stuff, but, I mean, like, pet snakes that go missing. Yeah, uh, there yeah. must be a few. Yeah, imagine, but, there's got to be, like, illegal snakes as well. Yeah. You're not going to report them if they go missing. No. Because one day we're going to 
Or is it too my cold? Dad, my dad will go into the loft and like he'll be like, oh, I'm going to redo the carpet or something in the loft and he'll rip it all up and there'll just be a dead snake. Dead snake. De- yeah. Well, I'd, I can't imagine them surviving the winter, can't they, snakes? Probably not, oh, yeah. In the winter over here. But like, yeah, you need to walk, You need to keep them warm, don't you, if mm. you've got a pet snake? Unless they stay inside somewhere. Still in your loft? Yeah. 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 It gets cold snake up there, though. That's because of the ghosts. <laughs> 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 it's your turn next, Carl. <laughs> right, I think that was, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, you fucked up that story, even if you don't believe in ghosts, if that's happening to you. Yeah, but I don't, it's not fucked him up enough to move out straight away after yeah, the first spent incident. a year and a half. Yeah. Mm. Well, Still there. Uh, maybe he was adamant that he's just like, I don't believe in ghosts, this can't be real. I mean. No, yeah. It's how many st- times? He said he felt sick about four times. Yeah, how many times do you reckon he stayed? Just throw up. Slept in his car. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Every night. Yeah, yeah, that's like fucked up that though. Like if, if I heard anything in the loft, like I'm pretty sure we've got like, they're either rats or squirrels or something in our loft at the minute, and mm-hmm. you can hear them running around at the minute, and that's Ooh. pretty like. Oh, you know, I remember when I was in Japan, staying in the house. Yeah. I proper shit myself up a few times. Like, not, I didn't see anything or had any experiences, but you know, in your own mind. Yeah. In the dark. And I was thinking about, like, The Ring. You know, all those Japanese films as well. Mm, oh, fuck. That's like, another good one. Isn't I was scary thinking, Japanese midgets. I proper shit me, Like, because um, they have all them sliding cupboards in it as well. Oh. And, like, the dead deep <gasps> and dead high. And, like. You see the shadow behind it. Oh, I didn't, I didn't see anything. I don't think anything even happened. I think it was just all in my head. You know, yeah. thinking about the film. Watching too many movies. But I remember there was a few times where the monkeys are on the roof. And that shit me up oh, cool. until you realise, oh, it's the monkeys. Yeah. You're like, what the fuck's that in the night? Just quiet. Yeah. And then you can just like yeah. proper scurrying and like, like somebody's walking yeah. on the roof. Oh, oh fuck me. I bet yeah. that's like the, like the birth of loads of different Japanese horror, horror stories as well. Oh, like, yeah. it, mon- like the monkeys. Yeah. Yeah. They always have loads of films that like no one has ever like, oh, they people who are not into Japanese culture, Jap- like Asian yeah. culture. They have never good, even heard of. Good collection of horror films. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I bet they are, yeah. Fuck me. Oh, that's scary, that way. Do they have any predators in Japan? They have the snakes. Do they have wild them? pandas? No, I don't think so. Oh, they'd be so good. They have predator. big boars. Did I tell you the story when I seen that massive boar? No. I seen a boar and I thought it was a bear. Like, <laughs> like a pumba? Like a pumba thing? Like a pumba. Like a big pig? Like a flying king? A war Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Like that. Yeah. Like them, them pigs, wild boars. Yeah. And it, like I was walking, like I, I was walking in the forest in the middle of nowhere. And there was like a small path off the side. Mm. And it was like the trees were going over it as well. So it was mm. like dark. Oh, I love that. And like right in the distance, in the middle of the path. I'm in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Like with the who blasting. That's all I did was listen to the who. <laughs> and it was like in this cage, this like big black thing. And I was like, no in way. In a cage? Yeah, somebody caught it. <gasps> and it was massive. I like, I, I thought it was bear. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was like looking around like, and it was like, it was like banging in the cage. Oh, yeah. I slowly yeah. walked over, got close and then realised it was a massive boar. Fucking hell. Like, rat the man. Yeah. Fucking but they say, hell. like, you should carry, um, you should carry a knife when you're out walking in Japan, in Japan yeah. Should, yeah. Do they? The boars. Just charge. They're bad, them, like, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Rip your leg off with one Do of they? its horns. Fucking what is it? It's a um, tusk. A tusk. Mm. Yeah. Fucking hell. So they haven't got any, like, there's no bears in... I don't know. I bet there is. Is, there, is the wolves in the north? Right in... Yeah, I probably, think there's yeah. in the north bit where it's yeah. snow. The mountains and that, yeah. Yeah, I bet there's, I bet there's I all sorts. Think, there. But they have the snakes. You have to keep. You have to watch out for the snakes. Yeah. The poisonous. Yeah. They have mosquitoes? I, I think so, yeah. Everywhere's got mosquitoes. Yeah. yeah. Really? You like that in Australia, looking out for snakes. You have to oh, kill oh, off fucking those, yeah. And the rest. Yeah. <laughs> Crocodiles. Killer kangaroos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's a story Trantulous. in Australia. That, there's a story they tell you. If you go walk in Australia, you've got to watch out for drop bears. Drop. Drop bears. So drop bears are like... Um, little bears at, um, and they'll go at the top of trees and if you're walking through the through the forest or like they, they'll drop down they'll drop on your head and they'll maul you little baby what? bears yeah little bears what? Oh. it's a story they tell they drop on that your so, head why does that sound so cute <laughs> <laughs> well that's so that's what they say yeah they, they don't exist oh. <laughs> so if, if anyone goes over there and tells you about drop bears you gotta <laughs> yeah smart about yeah it. Oh, i would have been looking up <laughs> yeah uh, yeah, there's all sorts in Australia. Like. I really want to stroke. A, uh, a, I want to hold a koala bear, but they've yeah. got chlamydia, haven't they? <laughs> yeah, I've, I've stroked one. Like. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah, they are. Um... But they can be vicious as well, can't they? Yeah, yeah. wild animals. I want to do everything. Yeah, like any birds w- can fuck you up. Yeah, any wild animal can um, do a bit of damage, can't it? I'm always a bit apprehensive of birds. 
Mm. Just you ever seen Birds it. the film? What's, who's, who's Hitchcock. That? Hitchcock. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's a horror. Yeah. That's, that's a horrible that. horror, that. That's a raw yeah. one. Mm. That's a fucking that's, your eyes That fucked me up. I watched that when I was a kid. Like. That, yeah, the best, I did, The yeah. best is they're in that house, aren't they? Yeah. One bit and they're looking out. Yeah. And it's just more and more, isn't there? Yeah. Mm. That's a, that's a bit of a terrible CGI when you if you watched it back now. <laughs> oh yeah, I bet it looks like dog yeah. shit. <laughs> but yeah, I remember they got close ups of picking pecking the eyes, haven't they on there? Yeah. Ooh. As you would. Mm. <laughs> right, I've got one more. Go on. This is the boy with no eyes. Um, another Reddit one. Another Reddit one. Kemendo four. These are the best ones, the Reddit ones. One night when I was ten, I woke up in my bedroom. Um, I woke up by my bedroom door opening, followed by someone sitting on my bed. I felt my leg grazed, and under the bed, uh, and and the bed sunk under a person's weight. It was my mum. I thought, and I opened my <laughs> eyes. It was not my mum. I found an eyeless boy. He had black, empty sockets, about my age, sitting at the foot of my bed. He extended his hand. And in it was a little box. I was startled but reached out. He pulled back. I reached again and said, give it. <laughs> then he blinked. <laughs> and when I reopened my Such eyes, conviction he reason. was gone. <laughs> give it. <laughs> Brackets, Sorry, I you but I could still see the imprint where he sat on my bed. Fast forward five years. My girlfriend came over to do homework. After she finished, she took a nap while she waited for her parents. When they arrived, I tried waking her up. She opened her eyes suddenly, looking up at the corner where the wall met the ceiling. She pointed there and went back to sleep. I shook her again. She came to full consciousness and I explained what she'd done. She looked haunted. Up on the wall, I saw a little boy with no eyes. He was there in a Spider-Man pose, staring at me. <laughs> I'm not, even, I'm not even laughing at that. I'm not even going to laugh. I, I freaked out and told her my story about the same kid. <laughs> <laughs> Fast forward another five years. I was with the same girlfriend and we had a two-year-old. We were living in my parents' house in my old room. My, my daughter started waking up at the same time every night and she'd talk. After a while, I noticed she had almost the same conversation every night i playfully asked um who, who she was talking to she said it's a little boy he's nice he's lost and he's looking for his mum my daughter's nightly conversations continued until we got our own place later that year and it just ended mm. and it never happened again never it was just isolated again. in that one bedroom so, yeah i want to know what spider-man pose he was, <laughs> was he was he upside down? Upside down? Was he hanging off? Was he web, web, web yeah, slinging? Was he <laughs> wrestling? <laughs> I think, oh, up, <clears throat> like, I don't believe that story. Do you know what, though? But I feel like they could be dreaming up until, yeah, that's dreaming, what I mean. Yeah, when she woke but up. then they were all having the same thing. Any in your own bedroom? Yeah. Because of that state of consciousness slipping in the yeah. mouth. Like, I was yeah. saying to you the other day, like, I was, like, 50% consciousness all day. I could have seen anything that day. <laughs> 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 While you're hungover. Yeah. <laughs> well, don't they say, like, it goes into the, you know, people who say aliens. Yeah. Like, nearly every one of them are just blazed. Yeah. Nearly every one of the stories oh, yeah. is, like, the fucked, or the, mm. they were drinking, or the, it's never, like, I was sober, oh, clear-minded. Without, without, like, yeah. um, without video evidence, you mean? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm sure there's, like, loads like that. Well, I you're think. just, you're half asleep in your bed. Yeah. But, with, like you said, with this being the same thing they're all seeing. See, that, that break, like, we can't have the same dreams, can't we? Mm. Well, well, we can actually. I told you, didn't I, Cal? Yeah, you had the same dream. No, not me and Steve. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I'll explain that off the podcast. Uh, yeah, <laughs> um, but I don't no. get why. But like in a spider, that's through me that I, all, I can't think of. It she any, didn't have to throw part, that in. Yeah, any other part of the story? Well, I'm the only thing I'm thinking of is Spider-Man. Have you seen Insidious? Yeah, isn't there like a scene in that where someone's in the corner of the room? In the um, darkness. I think so, yeah. There's like a face in the corner. Mm. This fucking freaks me out that I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight, you know. Mm. I hate that film. <laughs> no, it's all, it's all like that, like, um, do you know, like you were saying about that person who couldn't go upstairs in that house? Yeah, Because they yeah. felt something. Yeah. It would just freak them out. I bet there's loads like that, like, where, oh, whenever I stayed over in my nans and I slept in this bed, I always felt that 
always felt like someone was there in the room and like all yeah. my cousins always thought that as well when they stayed that's yeah. not i'm not saying that's like a true true story that i've i've experienced but no it's kind of like that isn't it yeah and what is that what could it be like do you think to an extent maybe one person says it and then everybody else is like shit shits themselves 100 percent the human mind and it is yeah definitely it's mind playing tricks on you yeah. i think like if we were if we were staying in a house together and yeah. i start going on about ghosts then you will probably start gonna see stuff aren't yeah. yeah the I mean, next next few weeks you're gonna have like a ghost story it's yeah. like a what's the thing where like if you think about it so much it manifests gone, yeah you manifest it's gonna happen. if you think there's something over there in that corner yeah and then the next day there's, there's definitely something over there and then yeah. like a week goes by and you're like fuck there's something over there yeah <laughs> yeah it's the mind isn't it it mm. is yeah it's your mind I, I i think that's my stance on it actually my old uh mate from when i was younger um he used to say that his curtain used to waft in the wind, even with his uh, window shut. And, um, you know, it just ended up being like uh, like a diffuser. <laughs> 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 it was blowing his curtain, he didn't realise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's all safe there. Oh, no, he was all fucked up. Like, oh, those, like, like Febreze things. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what it was. It was like a heater, like a like a portable heater or something. Fucking okay, no. <laughs> And he was just blowing his curtain, didn't realise. His nan put it on. Yeah. <laughs> like that. yeah, so it's the mind. Like when I was saying in, in <clears> Japan, <throat> like the person I was saying with in Japan, she was like fucked up from me. Yeah. You know, me being fucked up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, from you telling her your... Yeah. Well, I, and I haven't even fucking... Thoughts. It's your, all in my head yeah, as well. Yeah, your paranoia was sending, yeah. sending their paranoid. So I can see like if you're with other people... Yeah, you're telling stories yeah. and stuff, and mm. like then they start thinking about it, and then yeah, and you're in that situation as well. Yeah, it's, it's like the sleep that. ones, isn't it? We've both got ones about our like being in your bedroom, haven't you? Yeah, haven't we? and I think if like they're they're fucked up. My mine's fucked up. Oh, the lucid dreaming. Yeah, the way oh, the, sleep paralysis. Yeah, so, yeah oh, sleep, sleep paralysis. paralysis yeah. yeah, yeah, that's like. I think it's because like they're so intense when you experience it. It's it, honestly the, the most scary. Well, mine was intense, but yours yeah. sounded very intense. Yeah. Is it where you can't get up? You can't wake up? Yeah. So yeah. I just yeah. set the scene. Yeah, I can't get that. I can't. So I'm. I'm I'm, I'd love to try it though. I'm in bed, and um, I'm kind of like I'm coming out of like a sleep, and I can I can feel some something at like the end of my bed, like someone's there. And I'm lying on my side, away. Like I can't, I can't see it. I'm mm. not looking in that direction, but I can feel. And I think it's like my dad. And I'm trying to turn to look, and I can't move. And all I can feel, oh, I can feel the footsteps walking down the side of my bed mm. that I'm lying on. And I can't turn over to see. It's like walking down my back. And oh, can, is that be, real? Yeah, I feel it lean over me. And then I'm like, fuck. And I wake up and I'm like under the covers, like fuck that. <laughs> and that's the worst. It's the worst thing that's ever happened to you. Yeah. Did you consume alcohol? No, no. Totally sober. Nothing like Clear-minded. that. Clear-minded. Clear-minded. And like that was like in the night, wasn't yeah, it? You yeah. said you woke up. Yeah, yeah. And that Sweating. Happened. That freaked me out to be honest. Yeah, that fucked me up. And no, nobody said anything. Nobody was like, I, I came into your room last night. No, or no. Nothing. But well, why? But like, well, even if. My dad did come into my room yeah, and what? walk down and look you over me. Me. <laughs> <laughs> over you, would he? <laughs> yeah, it fucked me up. I couldn't sleep for like a couple of nights after that. That's bad, that. Yeah, sleep with the lights on. It's but the fact that you can't move. Yeah, mm. you literally can't move because you're in that like, <clears throat> like that state of consciousness. Really, but you can't wake yeah. up because you already feel like you're awake. Is that the feeling? Yeah. No, I think isn't it like your your body's still sleeping, but your mind isn't. Oh, wow. that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. You like because your body releases like a chemical that stops your body from moving, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, that's still active, whereas your mind's awake. Mm. Well, that, I think that's the science. They say the science behind okay. it. Yeah, but I don't get why. Why, why is it happening like that? And why is it giving me a? Why is the man in my room? Yeah. Fuck me why, why, why is someone leaning over you? Yeah. And why is he coming out the loft? <laughs> oh, why is the loft that. enough? <laughs> You'll look at that tonight. Oh yeah. <laughs> Wait, how get old was there? you when that happened? I was in uni. Yeah. So I think I was second year of uni. So you, you told me the story. You me. mature. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not a kid. Like, <laughs> like twenty years old. Yeah. I want to do the. Uh, have you seen the, like, the like water pods and they're so quiet that you can start hearing your own thoughts. 
Oh, like and people the... come out crying. Oh yeah, well you float. Yeah, yeah, yeah. floating yeah. pods, and you come out crying. Fuck. Mm. Yeah, it takes all your um, what is it? Your um, your senses, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You lose all your senses because yeah. you're like you float. floating. Yeah, you float. You don't need. Can't like, feel anything. Can't see mm. anything. Can't, you, there's nothing to hear. It's just no. your mind. Fuck. Makes you not a pin drop. I'd love to see one of them. Like, yeah. That probably sort me out. That. <laughs> Have you ever had a lucid dream? What is lucid dreaming? That's like Lucy, where you can yeah. control your dream. Yeah, that's when you can control. So oh, you don't yeah. actually yeah. wake up. I get that But you wake up in your dream. dream. It's where you like you you know you're dreaming. Yeah, yeah, I could do that you're all like, oh, the time. Shit, I'm in a dream. Eh? Yeah. I dreamed about Anthony Gordon last night. Did you? Pussy player, yeah. I feel sorry for him. I was just hanging no, around bless with him. him. Only mm. one, only one giving a shit. Feel really yeah. sorry for him. Yeah, yeah I, I'm in control of most of my dreams, even though the setting is quite weird. But can you, can you like change the setting and change what happens in it? Um, no, but I'm first person, kind of thing. Like I'm, I'm you're the, in it. I'm yeah. The, yeah, I'm a star. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I know what I'm. Full, like I'm fully conscious. Yeah. Like not fully yeah. conscious, but I know I'm asleep. But I'm still in a scenario in my mind. Can you yeah. make and you make the decisions? Yeah, but it's never like it's never scary. No. Never monsters or a fall. That's a really recurring one. I'm falling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't had any weird dreams like that for ages. But I do get like the I'm aware that I'm dreaming a lot of that. Mm. I don't know yeah. if I can control them that much, but yeah, I'm, aware, I'm very aware of my dreams sometimes. Yeah, I, I can't think. I, I, like the worst dreams I've had is where I'm doing something bad. Yeah, you know, to somebody. Oh god! Yeah, like, like I thought that's always like, I'm like what the fuck's that? Yeah, you were like, I'm doing the killings. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, uh, origin story. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. But I don't think I don't think I've had like nightmare nightmares where like something's happening to me. Yeah. No, I don't think I've had like a nightmare nightmare like that. I've had nightmares where like bad things happen, like but like stupid bad things, like mm. you get some bad news or something. Yeah. I, had, I, had I had a dreamy dad nightmares. last night. I had like. nightmare nightmares, like, but not like. A nightmare where I'm being chased or anything. Yeah. Being dead slow. Yeah. Running away dead slow. Yeah, I've never had anything that. like that. <laughs> <laughs> Scary that though, isn't well, it? Like, people do have full nightmares, like Yeah. Full night what, terrors. For like eight hours long. Yeah, like screaming. Wake up yeah. screaming. They must yeah, be well. are they longer? Like dreams or are they like when you go, Oh I had a dream last night, I was doing this, blah blah blah. Are they longer or is that just how yeah, much I, I you think, remember is that a snippet of your whole I, dream i think like there is i think time dilation is it called something is it, i yeah. think your time's like um, so your dream's actually longer yeah <gasps> i think it's because you everything's slowed down yeah it's in that um that sleep guy yeah the english book. guy he talks a bit about it saying like because your mind's slowed down yeah like your thoughts are all slowed down as well oh, in yeah. slow motion yeah. so that's why they, they feel like loads of shit happen like, you know, you, if you ever, like, go to sleep and you have, like, a mad dream, but you've only yeah. had, like, ten minutes or yeah. something. Cause you're, and you only dream at a certain level of sleep anyway, don't yeah. you? Yeah, where you hit the REM, the yeah. REM mm. cycles. So, a lot of the time... Is that a good sleep? You sleep eight hours. That's a rapid not. eye movement, isn't it? Yeah. The REM. Yeah. Which is a, well, that's which not is a your, deep sleep. That's, is, that's not your deep sleep, is it? No, no, there's deep sleep, light sleep and REM. I'm not getting yeah. a good sleep then, because I've, I've dream loads. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just dreaming constantly. Yeah, constant dreaming. Well, have you never had any any other ghost stories happen to you? To me, that's like the worst one. That's, that's that sleep paralysis is the worst one that's happened. Feeling, but then you've like, never I'm seen not, anything. I'm not saying that. there's a that's a ghost. Yeah, yeah. It's um, an entity, isn't it? It's like yeah, it's, it's a feeling. Moment, that's your mind, that yeah. isn't it? You've never yeah. seen anything. You never questioned yourself. Don't think so. Apart from when I was in speak hall and I couldn't do yeah. it in that room, um, no, I just felt uncomfortable. Cool. You've never seen anything, Connor. No, I think. It might part of me because I, I don't believe in them. Yeah. But I'm not like just shutting the door on ghosts completely. Like if there was one there, they're not covering, sh- covering they wanna... the the attic hat. Yeah, yeah, they want to show themselves. Come at me, <laughs> and I'll believe them. That's what I mean. Like the uh, for for all like, yeah, maybe maybe spirits do exist and stuff like that. But mm. there's no way that they are felt by cold breezes. D- That's yeah. all I'm saying. There's no way they can touch us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I kind of believe that, like, souls that haven't yeah. been... Because why, why? They've, they've actually scientifically measured the soul, haven't they? Because they, yeah. they can only make, like, 99.97%. They can only measure, like, add all the stuff up in a body. Like, fucking... And there's something... Skin yeah, something like, missing. And there's, like, 0.03%. Yeah, well... That they can't... In every, in every dead person or something, they can't yeah. add up. 
And they say, like, people think... Put, put that plays into, like, there, where, where, does, where does, like, all your thoughts go and your dreams? Mm. Where, where, like, where is all your memories and everything stored? Yeah. In the cloud. Can't just be, yeah, can't just be fucking stored in this, like, yeah. small thing on the top of your neck. Yeah, this Mega box. computer. I know. That's so fucking insane, isn't it? Mm. It's just, and you're just, like, we're never going to know. I know. Just accept it. Some people say, though, you, you take DMT or something. Yeah. You might know. There's your podcast there. There's the episode of <laughs> your podcast. Mm. That's the vlog. We'll vlog it. Do it outside like, that lady's fucking bricked up wall. Bricked up wall. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> that. <laughs> Hearing the fucking, the choirs scream. Yeah. <laughs> Have you got anything to say, any? I don't think I've seen anything. I'm trying to think. No, I don't think. I've got that one I told you. Yeah. But then, like, like I used to, there used to be a chair next to my bed, next to the, um, the desk. Hmm. And whenever that was, like, pulled out, I'd always wake up, like, thinking that somebody was sat there. You know, like, in my dream, oh. while I, like, semi-wake up and there's, like, somebody sat on that chair yeah. in my room. And I, it doesn't shit me up because I'm, like, still half asleep mm. and I just, like, it's like a given. I'm like, oh, somebody sat there and then I go back to sleep. <laughs> and then I remember when it, in the day, oh, that's the day just, after, I'm that's like... That's ghostly, Greg. That's yeah. a bit weird. Why am I thinking... And then, every, and then like, I got rid of the chair and everything. Or, yeah, I started Too much put, for you. I started putting it in the underneath the desk and it stopped mm. so there's like oh i get it yeah so it was that's that's you that's you thinking it again just thinking that somebody yeah, sat yeah. on the chair mm. that's you it, it, happened, it, it again. happened quite a bit yeah mm. and then stopped immediately once the chair was not available for a ghost to sit on <laughs> <laughs> see that would be more if you like you you were pushing it away every night and you woke up and it was out yeah yeah, yeah imagine yeah. that yeah that would be i bad, thought that's what it? you were getting to yeah that'd be time to move out so. yeah Yo, that, yeah, game you think over. he just dropped that bomb like that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't think of one apart from me chair being pulled out every night. <laughs> no, you got um, nothing. I, I, we, I was thinking about, I know it's not strictly ghosts, but have you seen that stuff on TikTok about skinwalkers? Mm-hmm. I just asked my sister what the name was. Oh, in the, f- the video of the fellow in the, on the field. Yeah, where it's all like these creepy like things out in the wilderness that are like disguising themselves as humans and stuff. Yeah. What? And like the like you'll be walking and you'll hear like something shouting like help help yeah and you'll go over and see what it is and it'll and be it eats this. you it'll, yeah come what yeah i've seen a video on that yeah yeah <laughs> it comes and gets you you have to look into that stay skin walk have, oh, have you ever seen that video i think i sent you where it's like someone screaming dead loud in the woods they're like it's like a guy and another guy and they're in they're in a tree or like a tree house mm. and echoing in the woods is like this really oh i think i've seen that one as well that's just reminds me of that. And it's dark. Yeah. No, no, it's in light, trees. actually. And it's sad. Stu- I mean, there's no sound I've ever heard like that. Yeah. And they're like, they're like, what the fuck's that? Like a terrifying Yeah, sound. I think I've seen that one. I might have just pictured it being dark. F- like, like, a, like an elk bugle is pretty like... Yeah. Like if you were out and you yeah. heard an elk bugle, you'd fucking shit your pants. Yeah. Like. What, have you heard geese? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. If you heard that in the night, that's like... That's fucking... Ungodly. Fun. Yeah. Wait, are there geese that can fly? Yeah, yeah, you can hear them flying over sometimes yeah. over lakes and that. Like it's scary, isn't it? Like the noises that animals make. But I mean, these like owls are creepy. These things shouting like help and pretending to be babies crying and stuff. Wait, so mm. people, people have said there's recordings. Yeah, what's the recordings? Like they're they're in the forest. Yeah, recording it on the camera. Yeah, yeah. Not of the thing. You can't see it move. Well, there's some stuff of like like these guys themselves as trees, and there's like pictures of people. Uh, there's videos of. Like trees move and like trees aren't supposed to move and stuff. What? Oh, come to me. It fucks me up that little bit. I feel very cold. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> is, Checking is the, the lizard people are real. Mm. Mm, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I want it to be true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is that? What actually? Like people are just lizards. There's like an, a, another yeah. race. Reptilians. But it's like if you play Skyrim and they'll just all the Elder yeah. Scrolls. I always pick the lizard. I think that's why I want it to happen. <laughs> I, I like whenever the lizard. Whenever somebody mentions that, I just think that, <laughs> like Skyrim or Oblivion or something. Oh, you're awake. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I don't. I don't think uh, reptilians are amongst us. I think it'd be so cool. What about what's the what's the Slender Man? What's the story of that? Uh, that's in the woods isn't it yeah 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 he preys on kids don't he something is that like, like a it's a like a german story isn't it or something yeah oh, like a, a european he's got big long limbs hasn't he yeah. big long limbs big white he's got 
He's got no face, has he? Yeah, like st- stopping kids from fucking. They, they've got to come from strong, somewhere as well. These stories, they, they all come from that kind of thing, don't they? Like a, a like a tale of like it's myth, yeah. Like, yeah make sure you brush your teeth when, mm. before you go to bed or send the man I'll get you <laughs> I used to be shit scared of the, of the, uh, the, the bo- was it bogey man bogey man yeah the bogey man. oh I hated him I called him the bogey man yeah it might be the bogey man yeah. the bogey man's a like it sounds like a 70s dancer I remember 70s when, porno star I remember when my mum left me to go she went to the shop like to cop or something and I was about 8 and she was like I just wait here and uh, oh in the I, house yeah I was yeah. in the house on my own and I remember just like Stood in the bay window in the living room, just like crying, like, th- like looking for the bogeyman, thinking oh. he's gonna come and get me. Oh, oh, yeah. fucking Horrible, <laughs> traumatic yeah. experience. Yeah. No, but you've never thought about that in ages. That's a core memory. They're spe- of... like that kind of like those child childhood monsters are like oh what extreme, about like, like monsters under your bed and stuff like that. Mm. Yeah, what about that thing? It's back to that story, isn't it? Where like they say kids have like imaginary friends. Mm. Yeah, and yeah. they say that really their imaginary friends are ghosts. Yeah, do they? Yeah. yeah. Have you ever read the, that? Um, that was when I was the English one. I was trying to I, I yeah. researched it. it. Was Enfield Enfield Enf- Enfield Poltergeist? Oh, yeah, there was a film on that. Two yeah, two kids, two kids, uh, eleven and thirteen, in they, they had an imaginary a friend. council estate. Um, but yeah, they said they seen um, like poltergeists, and you, I think they got they got um, everything. Everyone was saying it was a hoax at first, oh. and then um, all the press got involved and stuff. And uh, they made a horror film of it in 2016. Okay. Um, I remember the name of it, yeah. Mm. yeah. It was called The Enfield Poltergeist. It was called The Enfield Horns in or something. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Um, it's called... Oh. Yeah, so will ki- yeah. kids are a weird one, oh, aren't the, they? the Conjuring 2, The Enfield Case. It's a 2016 American supernatural horror film. Mm. Is that what they must have... Uh, the Conjuring. The Conjuring. Oh, well, dramatised in a 2016 horror film. And it was on telly. It was a documentary. <laughs> well, you know, like kids are like, like they their minds are easy like manipulated, isn't it? Yeah. Thirty people, including neighbours, psychic researchers, and journalists, said they variously saw heavy moving, heavy furniture moving on its own accord. What? Objects being th- <laughs> objects being thrown across a room and daughters seeming to levitate several feet off the ground. Wait, so people seen that? People claim they've seen that? Yeah, 30 what? people. Oh, you have to t- What's the story here? In the uh, 60s? It was 1977. Single parent Pe- Peggy Hodgson called the police to her rented home in Enfield. Fucking Claiming up. she had witnessed furniture moving around. Um, and uh, all the kids heard stuff. And... Um, Oh, the police, the, the police constable said he saw a chair wobble and slide. So there's more people who said this, but even though, like, loads of people saying it was a hoax. Fucking hell. Um, but then again, is it not that thing where it's like somebody says it and someone thinks yeah, they've yeah. seen it? Yeah. Well, maybe, they sh- maybe this thing one is though, like, if you Peggy was just playing a big trick on it. <laughs> Pulling strings. How yeah. are they flying? Got some too floss. How are they flying, though? Oh. Yeah, if you see if you see furniture move, yeah. what's a logical explanation for yeah. that? If I see a kid floating, yeah, um, like if you see a UFO, it's oh, it could be a shooting star, it could be a um, fucking weather thing, it could be a yeah. helicopter. But if you see your furniture floating yeah. in the room, <laughs> what could it be? Isn't it? Oh, gravity stopped working. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the, it just what did it, he get? He thinks some of it was faked and some of it was an alleged poltergeist that were genuine. That were genuine. Oh, mm. what? How convenient! <laughs> Janet was detected in trickery. A video camera in the room next door caught her bending spoons and attempting to bend an iron bar. Oh fucking hell! Oh, maybe she went crazy from it. Mm. Maybe she just wanted to get out of that rented fucking house. <laughs> <laughs> That's those kids. Yeah, That's a big break. Come on, come on, kids. Absolutely. Yeah, I think. I think it'd be. I think kids make it more creepy. Actually, the more I think about it. Yeah, kids. Ki- imaginary friends for kids. I hope to God my children don't have any imaginary friends. Yeah. Them. Did you have an imaginary friend? No. Did you? No. I no ghosts. Either. No, nothing like that. It's yeah. What is speaking. an imaginary friend like? You do? You, do they see him? I don't know. Are, are kids saying like they see a? a I don't think I've a, ever met a person this. in a room with them. Because mm. that just like plain up sound. Plain sounds. P- Plainly like a ghost. It does, yeah. Mm. If you're seeing you think, it, like, you, you, can't, yeah. you can't sit there. You can't sit there. Because yeah. somebody sat there. Yeah. Clarice is sat there. Yeah. And you're talking to it. It's communicating yeah. back to you. What mm. the fuck? That's fucking spooky, that, isn't yeah. it? Like, just like the way kids act 
like you know when you see it like in films or in like videos mm-hmm. of it of like and they're just looking yeah and they're just like talking to themselves mm-hmm. or playing with that's fucking spooky that like. yeah. <laughs> it's like spooky when you see like kids making like doing a tea party and there's just empty chairs oh. a little table and she's pouring, and talking. pouring tea for people and they're fucked up oh. kids aren't they Jesus yeah. mm. what about Dingo then when like the dogs start barking at nothing mm. or the cats like go at Oh, turn yeah. the head looking into another room and the, you know there's no have you ever seen that yeah mm. where cats they like they distinctly look don't they they're on a different level aren't they like kids and then cats and dogs and yeah they must be because they can definitely sense yeah well that's it yeah, dogs can sense more don't mm. can't they? yeah oh, that's it horses I, don't they horses can horses have a sense yeah fair, animals have got it haven't they like yeah. where is it like cats can tell when there's fucking tornadoes coming or something? What? Is that what it is? Or an earthquake? Well, cows know when it's raining. Yeah. <laughs> cows know it's going to rain, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure it's like dogs know when... Well, dogs can sense cancer and stuff like that, can't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't they get upset and everything? Yeah. They, they can start, detect... Like, they can uh, detect it, yeah. They can detect uh, when someone's about to um, fit, can't they? Yeah. And someone before like, the person's yeah before the person even thinks they're gonna have a, th- a fit what there's definitely some ghost dogs out there that are like uh, really good at detecting like ghosts. bloodhounds mm. bloodhounds are because ones of like advanced yeah smelling capabilities I reckon you can smell a ghost what would it smell like I reckon they fart <laughs> <laughs> smell of shit yeah <laughs> smell like a dead body <laughs> they'd be dusty wouldn't they yeah Oh, you know, I've actually I've thought just most of us coming to me here now. You know the pub in in uh, Rainford, the Eden Gerald. Yeah, I know quite a few people who work there have said over the, over the years like of stories of like I know there's one girl who used to work there for ages. And she'd, when she'd like lock up on her own, glasses would always smash in the other room, and there'd be nobody in there. Oh. She swears down that's happened loads. She goes in okay, and she says she wasn't even scared of it. I was like, what? But like she said, like the glasses would smash in the other room while she was in like the other room ro- locking the door or something. Oh my god, that's a pretty good story for someone who doesn't want to lose a job. Yeah, pretty confident. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's the ghost. <laughs> I know. Yeah, we. Um, I had when I worked in the warehouse, and that like people would say like, yeah, it's haunted down down the back of there. Mm. I see. Yeah, I've seen something. Yeah. What? Where? What was it like people though? People just doing boring jobs where they just want mm. a bit of spice, don't they? want to shit themselves up for yeah, going to work yeah. <laughs> if someone said like don't go down there it's, it's haunted would you go down there uh, would you go down like a da- an alley like a dark alley that someone died in in or like, like a basement or two or something P- pitch black basement I don't know whether I could that do basement me, I could that. do alley I could do an alleyway <laughs> as long as the basement door doesn't shut behind me Oh yeah, yeah okay. Doors closed on their own. So Bad, aren't they? what would you do, Cal? You, you're going, you're going down the basement. Yeah. It's pitch black. People have said there's ghosts down there yeah. in, the, in the far corner. Turn around, run. <laughs> but the the doors close. What are you doing there? You just banging, screaming on the door. Fuck no. And, and, and you, as you're doing. facing the door, <laughs> are you thinking that something's coming up the stairs towards Fucking you? Fucking hell! Like, dun, 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 feel like I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> <sat here. laughs> you look uncomfortable here, Cal. Yeah, what do you even do? <laughs> <laughs> Let's turn around, face your face your fear. No, before you die, you can't see it. Oh right, you could probably could like feel it right there. Yeah, as it Touch drags it. you down the stairs into the, yeah. into the dark. Oh <laughs> yeah, getting dragged would be like that's the one, isn't it? Yeah. Imagine getting that on CCTV. Oh. He's getting like fucking battered, like Patrick off SpongeBob, <laughs> trying to get in, trying <laughs> yeah. to get into that pub, into that club. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Then that that happened in one of the paranormal activities, didn't it? Where yeah, you got dragged, dragged out of bed, dragged, didn't he? Dragged up the into the attic. Yeah, yeah. That's scatty, that like. Yeah, I feel like getting dragged would be a horrible way to experience a ghost. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Ghost experience. Getting swung around. Well, what about Thingyo's experience? Um, we won't name him, but where he said he had the night terrors and he's banging on the door. Oh yeah, fucking hell! What did he say? He said, um, I, "I don't even know the story that well." What in his big house? Yeah. Mm. He said, like, he, he woke up and he thought there was, oh, like, people in his room or something, wasn't it? Yeah. And he ran... And he was in it? And he was in the room as well. And he ran to, like, his parents' oh, room, yes. wasn't he? Oh, yes, banging on the door. Smashing it. And they opened the door thinking, like, someone's robbing the house here. Oh, fuck. And he was, like, f- completely fucked. And they, like... I think he was and asleep, there was no though, wasn't there. he? Yeah, that's what, he, that's what he said. He uh, said it was... It was all a dream. 
That's mad though, that isn't it? Mm. Yeah, sleepwalkers are weird, aren't you? She said that once. Where uh, yeah, oh, you that. told me that, didn't you? Yeah, she ran out the ran out the house. <laughs> started, <laughs> started running down the street. Fuck that me. is what? That's like must be deep sleep for yeah. sleepwalking to run. Mad are your eyes open when you're sleepwalking? I don't know. She like she yeah, well, she ran out. She was, she was trying remember. to get in the car. So <gasps> it was what? I slept once a couple of times. I've never done it, me. I put my pajamas in the toilet, flushed them, <laughs> and sleepwalked. <laughs> Oh god, that's yeah, that's ridiculous. Old. <laughs> How old is you then? I was young. I was about thirteen. <laughs> I, I was thinking younger. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've done. Yeah, I do it all the time. I like, just get up and start talking. Yeah. Does Emma not say that to you when you wake? Like, do you not wake up in the middle of the night and start talking? She said like, yeah. That I've uh, speaking in I've tongues. Been, I, I used to do it a lot. Like, floating off the bed. Yeah. <laughs> I used to do it a lot more. Like in the past, parcel tongue. <laughs> <laughs> And I've not, I've not done it for ages. Yeah. I ever told you a story when I fucking gollied on the wall, on the wall in your sleep? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> what? I was just, like, Beck, I think Beck was still awake, and uh, I just like started mumbling, and then just sat up, and just did the massive greenie and spat it at the wall. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell, Connor? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like you're possessed. <laughs> I, I'm definitely not getting a good sleep, me, because I'm having weird dreams and fucking spitting at walls. <laughs> How long does it take for you to get to sleep? Are you like one of the ones who just go to sleep instantly? Instantly, yeah. 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 And then you're just dreaming mm. for the whole night. And then yeah. I'm just, yeah, I'm fucking clouds. REM sleep constant. <laughs> mm. Eight hours of REM sleep. <laughs> Will you say, like, if you've been through a traumatic experience... You get more REM sleep. REM sleep. Do you? Because that's like all dreams is like your way of processing all your thoughts and everything. Yeah. How has Anthony Gordon been traumatic? Oh, wait, actually, yeah. Yeah, kind, <laughs> of, <been traumatic. laughs> yeah. kind of is. Yeah. yeah, let's not go there. Yeah, leave that one out. No, I haven't had the proper dream for ages. Mm. I've been sleeping well recently, though. Mm. Like last week, I had like, before we went paintballing, mm. uh, I had. 12, uh, 12 and a half hours. Oh, yeah. Oh. That, that was <laughs> your best sleep ever, that wasn't yeah. it? <laughs> I had an unreal one last night as well. I did. I was half eight till about five o'clock last night. Wow. I can't do it anymore. I, I just like get to the point where I sit there and I've had my tea and I go, I just can't be bothered. And I'm just going to bed. What? Have you not got anything to do? No, I just go to bed and go to sleep. What? <laughs> that's, that's absurd. That's because you're social media blackout, that. It is, yeah. Mm hmm. No because scrolling. normally, yeah, I'd just sit there and I'd scroll mm, Instagram and Twitter yeah. and stuff. Yeah, and spend about four hours a night on TikTok. Yeah, speak to people, but no, I just... What about... Put my phone away. And that, that thing in the ceiling's never bothered you until now? No, until no. Tonight. Yeah, <laughs> until tonight. Until tonight. I don't even think it'll bother me tonight, though. No. Get in just, there tonight. I think I'm so used to it. Just put me head through. Yeah. Do you know what? I'm more scared of being spiders up there than I am. <laughs> 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 Fucking ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. all my sister's dolls in the loft. Oh, that's oh no, that would be... And I, I took them out of the box and I placed them all on the wall. <laughs> what? My dad's probably moved them by now, yeah. but... Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure dolls and like... My auntie used to have that in, in her house and in her bedroom, like on top of the wardrobe, she'd have all these dolls lined up looking down. Yeah, my that's sister had loads when scary. I was younger. I don't know why they're still in the loft, because they've got like one eye. Ben. <laughs> yeah, all the hairs <laughs> fell out. Yeah, they're so all they're like literally old. horror ones. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like they're, like a toy, like off, uh, the toy soldiers. Little yeah. Barbie doll. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Like that. laughs> oh, actually, I've got a good. I've got a good. Um, I've got more stuff coming to me. So I mean, right. uh, I've got a good ghost um, video that's like realistic. He's um. You ever watch them YouTubers? Find his keepers. Be find his keepers. Beep. Oh, what is it? Find his beepers. No. Where they do like the the explore abandoned places, but they oh, okay. they are like distinctly they stand by it. They don't believe in ghosts. Like right from the start, yeah. they're, they're never pushing the ghost stories, or yeah. they, they t in fact they take the piss out of like you know like the ones you go and explore haunted, like they take the piss. They're not believers of anything mm. like yeah. that. They never, but they have one video. And where is it? It's in like a, oh, it's in a mansion, and they capture something on the stairs. You can you can see it, and they like replay it, and they're like absolutely shit. And that's the only one I kind of I don't believe, but where I'm like, yeah. you know, mm, because Maybe. because they come across like genuine yeah but like it's like the top of the stairs it's all dark and they hear noises or something and the camera has got the, just the light you know where the camera's filming mm. and it, the the pan up there pan up the stairs and like it sees like a leg and He's a watching. foot and it mm. moves out the way around the corner Fuck. and then like they shit themselves and like they stop filming it and then they get they get back filming and they go up the stairs and where they go around the corner where it could have gone there's nothing 
No. Like it couldn't no. have gone anywhere. If it was somebody, they'd be there. They'd yeah. be there. And gone through. Or the wall. they would have seen it gone the other way. Yeah. But it's oh, just, and, and you can see that. it on the on the video. I'm not watching that video. Yeah, that's a show is that. But I'm always still skeptical if it's if I, if I can if I'm watching it yeah. on a video. I'm still skeptical. You need to see it. I need I need a ghost to fucking twat me in yeah, the face. You, yeah, yeah, you need for me to believe it. <laughs> yeah. Personal experience. I don't know why I'm sat here like inviting fucking that's it. ghosts I'm and yeah, You're gonna be come possessed. On, here. Come <laughs> I'm ready. I'm sat here thinking. I, de- I know we said at the start we should go and do a haunted house or something. I'm definitely not doing it. No, I know. <laughs> no, no way. way. <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> yeah, you'll just send Connor. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Connor, report. Connor and a GoPro. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Blair Witch Project. Yeah, I'll <laughs> yeah, be running around pretending he lives there. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I get one, I get a video recording a GoPro like that train guy. Yeah. It's on his face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'd just be you asleep. Yeah. That's it, be. You sit down. It's cool. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we were watching his rapid eye movement. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's dreaming there. The clown has no penis. <laughs> Sarah Banger, turn that down. Stop it. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, boys. Oh, what, what, how long have we done this? We've done an hour and a half. A nice we? hour and yeah. a half. And we have around the that office. But quite well, lengthy, that, that was a good giggle on that. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I've, I've got, I can't think of any more. I know some will come to me, but. Mm, yeah. I can't think of any more yeah. any more ghost stories. Save them to run for your mind just before you fall asleep. Mm. Yeah. Save them for the comments. I'm gonna yeah. watch I'm gonna watch Bullseye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um boys it's been a pleasure. Have you enjoyed it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Quite scary. Good, I got I feel, I feel very cold. Yeah, I did. I got I got a little bit. Do you know when I feel alright when I'm reading those little stupid ones off Reddit, but yeah. when when you start bringing up like that I almost wanted to tell you to stop. Should we do? <laughs> should we do a Ouija board next time? <laughs> no. Oh yeah, yeah. We'll film. Film kind of get possessed, <laughs> floating around in this room. <laughs> Fucking hell! Right, uh, and as always, listeners, if if you've got any stories you want to tell us, if you've got anything you want us to talk about, let us know. Instagram, Twitter, YouTube comments, and uh, until next time, sleep well tonight. Thank you. So I want to say good luck to Charles in Kiev. Oh yeah. Fight hard. Yes. Fight hard for us, brother. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> this was brought to you by Murdley Productions.